Automation can be a game changer for any business. And today we're diving into a comprehensive review of make.com. This is an AI powered platform for automating just about any task that you can think of. We'll cover everything from its intuitive scenario designer to the vast range of integrations that let you connect thousands of different applications. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear picture of whether make.com is the best AI platform for your automation needs. So without further ado, let's get into it. When it comes to artificial intelligence, make.com leads by guiding you through building optimized workflows. Its recommendation engine suggests ideal triggers and actions based on the applications you select, cutting down on the trial and error often required in designing new automation. Furthermore, the platform can analyze your current workflows to highlight potential improvements that you might not have noticed. Although it isn't a fully automated AI builder, these intelligent prompts steadily enhance your automation efficiency over time. In a landscape that includes tools like Zapier and Integrately, Make.com's combination of a visual scenario builder and AI driven suggestions distinguishes it from the rest. While Zapier is renowned for its reliability, Make.com often excels in managing advanced logic and branching within workflows. And although Integratedly offers a simpler approach, Make.com provides a broader spectrum of customization options. Ultimately, the ideal platform depends on your specific automation needs and budget. So testing Make.com's free plan can help determine if its features are right for you. And if you guys want to get started with Make.com, make sure to follow along with this part of the video. The first thing you want to do is head down to the link down in the description and click it for make.com. When you click that link, you'll be brought to this page right here. As you can see, we can sign up with make.com and get started completely for free simply with either a Google account or an email address. I'm going to go ahead and enter in my first name here, my email address, and my password. Once I have all this picked out, I'll then hit the sign up for free button. Once I've done that, I'll then have to check my email to verify my account. Now, once you've officially verified your email, you'll be thrust inside of make.com. Now, the first thing make.com will do is walk you through a setup guide. Now inside of the setup guide, they're going to kind of give you basic questions to figure out exactly what you need to have your overall workspace tailored to. As you can see, the first thing it's asking us is what best describes our role. Now we could say we're either a development engineering person, a product or project manager, a founder and executive, and so on and so forth. Again, they will tailor things depending on what you choose. So make sure you choose something that is obviously relevant to what you're trying to use make.com for in the first place. Now for this example, I'm just going to say that I am a marketer marketing or growth person. So I'll go ahead and click that one. Once I click that one, the next thing we'll ask us is what do we want to automate? Now we can say just about anything here, but because I chose marketing, I'm going to give the example of content creation. If you guys are familiar with make.com, you may have seen other videos out there on the internet talking about how you can use it as a content creation tool. This is incredibly true as it's one of the most powerful tools to do this with. So we're going to go ahead and simply say that we're trying to automate some type of content creation or marketing structure. Now the word content marketing is isn't available here, but we can just go with social media. Once we click that social media one, the next thing is asking us if we have any automation experience. I'm just going to say that I've used other automation platforms before, and then we'll talk about our company size. We'll say that it's just us. And then of course, they'll say how we heard about them. You can say anything in this case, YouTube, and then we'll hit the X button. Once we have all that filled out, we'll then hit the get started button, which will then take us inside of make.com. As you can see, this is what your dashboard is going to look like. I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step how to look through all of this and how to start building your very first automation. Now, the first thing you're going to want to take a look at is the top right here, which is my organization. That's basically going to be the name of the actual thing that you're building inside of Make. You can change this at a later time, but we'll keep that the same for now. If we go one below that, we'll see a couple of different tabs that we can choose from. These tabs include things like organization, teams, users, subscription, payments, installed applications, variables, and scenario properties. Now, really quick here, just to show you guys an overview of what the actual cost of Make.com is, I'm going to go take a look at the subscription tab. As you can see here, if we go with the yearly plan, we're going to be saving a little bit of money here. The monthly plan is a little bit more expensive, but these are basically what we have at our disposal. As you can see here, they have three core plans that we can choose from outside of the free plan. You can't really do too much with the free plan, so I would definitely recommend upgrading to the core plan or the pro plan. The core plan is about $10.59 a month, while the pro plan is about $18.82 a month. Each of these plans come with their own benefits, but as you can see here, the core plan comes with features that look like this. You get unlimited number of active scenarios, 40 minute scenario execution times, 100 megabytes file sizes, one minute intervals between scheduled scenario executions, and access to 300 plus make API endpoints. If we want even more access, we can go with the pro plan, which is great for startups and for people who need a ton of automation. We can get access to features like full text execution, operations usage flex 
flexibility, 250 megabytes of file size, and priority scenario execution. But the nice part about make.com is that you can get started completely for free. Let's head back to our organization tab. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're probably going to want to create your very first what are called scenarios. These are basically like their automations, but they have a different name for them. All we have to do is go up to the top right here and click this purple button that says create a new scenario. Once we click that purple button, it will then start walking us through their setup guide. Now, inside of their setup guide, there's a few things that we can choose from. We can either build it from scratch, start with a template, or create it using an AI assistant. There's also the ability to check out their Make Academy and learn how to do all of this stuff in a more efficient way, which is pretty helpful. Now, for the sake of this, we're going to actually just go ahead and start with a template, just because that'll be the easiest way to show you guys how this whole system works. And also, it's probably what most of you are going to get started doing. Now, there's a ton of different things that we can choose from here. We can generate chat GBT completions for Google Sheets rows. We can create new completions in an open to air table. We can create Canva designs with data from Google Sheets. We can organize our YouTube video database and so on and so forth. And again, the nice part about this template store is that there's tons of different templates that we can choose from. Now, just to show you guys kind of a simple example here, we'll go ahead and go with something like ChatGPT. Now, as you can see here, we have a ChatGPT powered Telegram bot for instant replies. This could be really helpful if you have some kind of group where you're actually getting people to respond to you and you need to make sure that those responses are instant. We'll go ahead and select this template. And then as you can see here, we can start our guided setup or create a new scenario from the template. We'll go ahead and go with the start guided setup button. And just like that, we're officially inside of the scenario editor. Now this is where we can start actually messing around with stuff and make edits to things. As you can see, step one here is connecting our telegram to create what's called a webhook. A webhook is basically just like a beautiful looking message that can be sent by an automated bot. All I have to do is hit the create webhook button, which will then have me link my telegram here, and then I can create that connection. Once I have my telegram all set up, I'll move on to the next step, which is setting up my open AI API access. I'll go ahead and click on this, which will then guide me through creating a connection with chat GPT. I'll just simply have to enter in my API key here and the organization ID, hit the save button, and just like that, it's pretty much ready to go. The next step here is going on to the telegram bot itself, and I'm going to actually specify what I want the connection to be and specifically what I want it to say. Once I have all that set up, this is pretty much done. This is a fully functioning automation that will work on autopilot inside of my telegram group, sending responses based on what people say to it, given the fact that ChatGPT is connected to it. And we can literally start running this and we're ready to go. We can actually go back to the templates and see any of the other public templates that are available. Let's say for instance that I want to create a content idea generation template or something like that. I'll just search up either the word content or content idea and see what they can come up with. You can scroll down here and see some of the public available templates are actually here. And there's also tons of YouTube videos that you'll definitely want to hit the subscribe button on so that we can show you how to do these types of things. Here's a great example though here, create Instagram posts from Airtable content calendar. So we can click on this and hit the start guided setup button. And as you can see, this is our template that we're going to be working with here. It starts with an Airtable, which is kind of like a more sophisticated version of either Google Sheets or on a ClickUp database. It'll then go to what's called a router. Now routers are important because routers can basically split an automation into two and do two things at once. Now you may need to upgrade to actually get access to the full capabilities of these types of templates just to keep you guys actually informed. But as you can see, you'll have this router here, which will then either go up to this part, which is Instagram for business with your Facebook login, and then Instagram for business with your Facebook login down here. Now, what this does is that this is for photo media or video media. If we want to create photo media, we would go through this top part of the router. And if we want a video, it would go through the bottom. As you can see, it'll create a content idea and then put it back into a new air table. And just like that, we have a content ideation generation tool. Also, just a quick note on the left here on this tab, just to show you a few more things about what these are. If you want to go check out your scenarios, you click on the scenarios tab. If you want to check out your templates, you click on the templates tab. You can check in your connections with the connections tab, web hooks with the web hooks tab, and so on and so forth. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about make.com. If you guys have questions about this platform or how to get started with it, definitely check out the links down in the description and comment them down in the comment section. Make sure that like button and subscribe. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I can't wait to see you guys in any of the future videos that we make. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you